Hey guys, welcome back to Remove Before Race. Now, I just transported here in Brooklyn to pick up my GTR Pro. Now, this journey actually started back at the factory at Sindelfingen, and we're gonna talk about that amazing experience throughout this video, but just to start off, let's start here. As you walk into Mercedes-Benz World, we actually have a facelift GTR, so let's come and have a look at this. So we've got a facelift GTR over here. As you can see, you've got the new lights. One other thing that the GTR brings design-wise is these extra flicks on the bottom of the front bumper as well. But there's nothing too much that's different. All the changes really come in the Pro. Of course, the interior gets a big change, but it looks good in Magna Brilliant Blue, don't you think? But that's just the start when you get to MB World. Let's grab my lovely, you're probably wondering what this is. So this bag was made by Destroy versus Beauty, which is a great company based in Germany. They make bags for AMG. Now we're gonna do a special feature on these guys soon, but this one, of course, based on the Red Pig, it's a custom bag that I bought, um, only one of 50. But it, if you're an AMG nut, these guys really nail it. And that's why I brought this with me today. But let's head inside now. Let's show you some of the cool things in Mercedes-Benz world. Now you guys have always seen the track outside and the big building, it's very magnificent looking, but just before you walk in, just randomly, always at MB World, you've got like, my backs and Pullmans and SLRs and six by six G-Wagons just scattered around the parking lot. Here it's just normal because this is where all these cars are serviced. And then you walk in. Now walking in, first thing you see, SLS Black Series belonging to a fellow Instagrammer and a Gumball Rally driver, clearly. Again, very rare car. Often customers leave their cars here. We've had the Sultana Brunei's CLK GTR Roadster was here for the longest time as well. And then as you come into this magnificent entrance, we've even got an F1 car. That's the 2015 Mercedes F1 car. So one before the one that the Project One shares its engine with, or the AMG one as it's called now. And there's always relevant cars scattered around. So let's have a look at some of those as well. For example, we've got the SLS AMG GT. Now, I actually tried to buy this off them, but they wouldn't sell it to me, so. Cheers, MB World. Anyways, I also tried to buy that one, then I found another one, C63 Black Series in the back. But that's not the cool thing that they do over here. They actually have cars, much like the museum back in Stuttgart, so stuff that you would never see anywhere else. Back there, you're gonna see Bertha Benz's first ever Mercedes Benz. Now again, unless you were visiting the museum at Stuttgart, you're not gonna see that anyway. We've got, of course, more classic Mercedes and it goes all around the, the ground floor here. It's basically like a mini museum, much like the Stuttgart one. We've even got this cool display here where you can see the evolution of Mercedes-Benz cars or some specific ones over the years. It's a really cool little display going around the side. And of course, the Big Daddy itself, the 300 SL Gullwing that all of these GTs and SLSs, etc., all pay homage to. Just the most spectacular Mercedes that's ever been built. And this way, we've got the track that you guys have seen many times. So as we said in the past, when you buy a new AMG anywhere in the UK, you come here to Mercedes-Benz World and get the basic training that you get on the track over there that we've done many times on Remove Before Race. Check out my GT4 Doors video, the collection one, to see what that experience is like, or a little highlight of it, but you can see here, cars strewn across here that are used. We've got facelift C63, pre-facelift, the louder car, um, AMG GTR in Magna Iridium Silver back there, GT four-door that I drove on the four-door collection video as well. And even the 43s and the 35s, you can get the training here as well, which is great. But now, let's actually do what we came here to do and check out my awesome new GTR Pro. Handbag. It's a nice bag. Jamie keeps taking the piss out of me that this looks like a handbag. I thought it looks like a nice sports bag. No, it's just the way you hold your bags. What do you mean, like, like that? <laughs> That's going in the video. Right, guys, we're in um, vehicle sales here, as you can see, vehicle sales. Let's walk through. The car is in that handover area that we showed you earlier. There's a nice little surprise, actually. We've got the facelift GLC 63S as we tested back in, where did we test it, Jamie? I can't remember. Somewhere in Germany. Frankfurt, that was it, Frankfurt. Really good car, sounds really good. Surprised to see it in showrooms this early. Right, guys, I've got the keys right here. Behind me is the MB World handover bay. This piece of glass actually becomes transparent, which I'll show you in a minute. But before that, a quick recap on when 
you last saw the car and when I last saw the car as well. And that was at the Sindelfingen factory when we were seeing the front bumper being installed on the car. We just saw the marriage bet between the chassis and the drivetrain of the car. And you saw when I was given the honor of being able to sign the torque tube as well. That was the last time I've seen it. I haven't seen it since. Didn't see it roll off the production line. Wanted to see the finished car. And it's actually right behind us now. So let's try and unveil it now and see the Solovine Beast. And there she is. Absolutely incredible. You really couldn't appreciate it on the production line, could you, with all the different pieces not being on it? As a finished product in Solar Beam Yellow, that looks absolutely incredible to me. I think we really nailed the spec, guys, on this one. Okay, guys, now some first person look at this. As you can see, Solar Beam Yellow, of course, as we saw at the factory, I put my plate on it, matching my Instagram username and my middle name, as you do being a bit of a tart. Um, We've got the stripes that mimic what you have on the GT4 customer racing car as well. The paintwork just looking absolutely glorious in Solar Beam Yellow, don't you agree? Let's look at the sparkle on that. Don't know how well you can see it. Now, some unique bits of the Pro that we have discussed in the past, specifically the front end here is a completely new front end versus the normal GTR. You can see the much bigger air intakes on the front. You've got the aluminium brackets just like you have in motorsport racing AMGs in the past. We've of course got the carbon fiber flicks on the front as well. And the canards on top of the front wheel arch as well making this unique compared to the normal GTR. In fact, you've got a carbon fiber roof with a dipped center there as well, which is unique to the Pro. The rear makes things more interesting, as we've got now a rear wing with aluminium brackets, as you have again in the customer racing cars. And the actual GTR Pro logo is a racing flag with a green R in it. Is that a nod to the car being the beast of the green hell? Probably. The best bit though, I think on the entire car is the nod to the Project One, to the AMG One with the carbon fiber aerodynamic flick here, which helps increase the downforce, as we discovered in our GTR Pro first look. Of course, we've got a fully carbon fiber lower diffuser as well, surrounding the three points of the titanium exhaust that we saw under the skin at the factory before the car went through its marriage. What an incredible experience that was for all of us to see together. I'm so glad I experienced it with you guys. Heading now inside the car. Of course, we've got the new facelift interior of the AMG GTR with the brand new steering wheel. As you see on all modern Mercedes-Benz, you've got, of course, the digital driver zone. And we'll have a look at the other bits and pieces when we climb in and start the car up. Now, let's have a quick look at my four litre V8. There is the badge of the engine builder, of course, the engine being built in a Falterbach, one man, one engine, as is the AMG way. And we saw it, of course, before it went through the marriage and got connected to the car. And back there, another AMG GTR Pro about to go out as well. Also sounding very, very menacing. This customer was very happy today, as you can imagine. Right, now. Let's do the little setup things to personalize the car. Of course, I brought stuff in my little man bag, as you would expect, but first, just the stuff that you get with the car itself. So we've got a little customer pack here from AMG that they leave with every car. What we have in here is the Affalterbuck crest for the key. Now, a lot of you have been commenting, why is the key the old one? Now, this is something that goes back to SLS, where if the car wouldn't start, there's actually a space in the center console for you to stick this key in of this particular shape. As you know, the new key can't be stuck in and to turn the car on. That's why the GT maintains the previous key. For me, I don't care because with 
any key, be it the modern one or the old one, you just keep it in your pocket the whole time. It never comes out. Everything's keyless on these cars. What else do we get in the book pack? Well, we get an AMG private lounge invitation. Now, if you don't know what the private lounge is, it is literally what it sounds like. It is a forum online that only AMG owners can join with their VIN number, and you can then chat to AMG experts, other owners. You get invited to special events as well throughout the year, and I really recommend it because you do get a lot of exclusive stuff on the private lounge. And of course, you can visit the private lounge then in a Falterbach as well as we're gonna do in the road trip later this year. So that was the book pack done. Now, on the GTR Pro, just like in the GTR track package, you get four point racing seats from Schroth Racing and you get a fire extinguisher in case you come across a, I was gonna say a car manufacturer's name, I'm not gonna say it. You can guess who I was talking about. Say it in the comments. I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. But the, the crappy thing is, this doesn't actually fit anywhere in the car. There's no mounting for this fire extinguisher. So invariably, this stays home. Weird. And now within the bag, one more bag. This is actually for the interior. So let's get inside the car and I'll show you what I've got in my little Mercedes goodie bag. Right, so here we are inside the GTR Pro. Take off my AMG Performance Wear jacket. There is a video coming on those guys very shortly as well. Awesome brand. Now, in my little man bag, second man bag, we have got, of course, tissues. Because, because what, Jamie? Because I'm a brand person and we put tissues in cars. Where's my gold tissue box? Ah, Not here. Coming soon. Also got some nice driving gloves here to match the car. That was a happy coincidence. I did not get them made that way. Microfiber cloth, of course, to keep the car looking pristine, which I always have here and I get stick for on Instagram. We've got a little spray bottle for water because piano black. In fact, this entire interior has the interior night package, which means it's gonna be a bit of a pain to keep clean. USB cable, of course to enable CarPlay. Once again, I've got, oh God, I brought, I brought the wife's one. It's chromey gold. That's not the gold tissue box, it's the gold hairbrush. It's not the gold tissue box, it's the gold, yeah, it's yeah. the gold hairbrush. There, we, we've done the Asian thing. Well done, James, good. And we've got our usual Alcantara shoe cleaning brush, which is perfect for keeping these fresh for the entirety of their life. Check out our funny video on that on the channel. And finally, now this is, this is important to me because I had the GTR, the original Beast of the Green Hell, for over two years. And this was the keyring that I used on that car. I kept it for sentimental value, but then I figured when I'm getting this car, why not use the original Beast of the Green Hell's keyring on it? Um, I think it just seems like the right thing to do. Let's get rid of the MB World one and pop on the proper one. Yep. And there you go. It looks perfect and some sentimental value. Now let's talk a little bit about options as the car comes to life. Now there weren't actually any options available on the GTR Pro in the UK. So everything that you see apart from the colors of the exterior of the car is a set package for this car. So for example, we've got man-made leather here rather than the Nappa that you get in the normal GTR that I had previously, you've got grey stitching because that's the way that MBUK wanted it to be. Um, you've got a black roll cage rather than, you've got a black roll cage rather than a body coloured one, again, because that's how it was all set. So really, as customers, we really did not have any choice. In fact, even the exterior was set to just be the grey and the green stripes originally, but then they released the colours, thank God. So really, everything you see here, every GTR Pro, at least in the UK, will look the same, but internationally, you do get a choice of varying carbon fibers and interior stitches and roll cage colors, etc., etc. But look, we're gonna go through the entire car when the full review happens, and we're gonna have a special guest from a different manufacturer on that review as well. I'll let you guess who that could be. It's very, very relevant, let's just say. But now, I really wanna start the car up and hear the startup for the first time. We're going to stick it into, in fact, we can just hold the paddle because it's a new AMG. The start button, of course, relocated here. Now see, that sounds purposeful. 
We drove the car at Hockenheim, and to me, this car just seems louder than that. So it sounds pretty flipping awesome, right? And we were just explaining to our special guest here, Mr. BMW himself. Hey guys, how's what, it going? What a proper car sounds like. It's... He's used to this M2 nonsense and other cars like that, so what do you think, Joe? Uh, well, it sounds very good. We're actually sitting next door in the showroom about 20 meters away, and mm. I was speaking to Ash just saying that yeah. actually it sounds unbelievably good. It does um, sound good, doesn't it? Really, really good. And I can't believe that they've managed to put an OPF filter in there. And I just managed to mark the car with my watch. Well oh, done, Russ. No. <laughs> So what, what do you think of, because of, you drove my original green one, didn't you? Yeah, I've driven your original green one. I've spent a lot of time in Tim's green one yep. in various countries, yep. driven it hard, uh, ran the Nürburgring as well, and um, very impressed with it. Uh, I must say that this, pictures don't do this particular car too much justice, which I think is the case with a lot of supercars. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so until you get close and personal with it. I think it looks really, really nice. Um, I just love all the detailing. I like the updates in the interior. As we just said, it sounds unbelievably good. I can't believe how other manufacturers fail so badly. You can say BMW, it's fine. Other manufacturers, like BMW, no. Uh, no, but I just, I just don't get it. I don't. I'm, I mean, it just shows you the work that AMG um, do with their engines. It's just, it's, it's, it's that, another level. It's very important to their customers. Like, yeah. uh, unlike other brands, it's one of the top three reasons they always say that people buy AMGs. Yep. Sound is like number Most one important thing. Yeah. so where that's going to go in the future i don't know but while we can enjoy it but yeah no congratulations man i'm uh, thanks, man. thanks not for jealous coming. at all I know as, not. yeah no no not not jealous so guys that's the collection experience done and dusted is of course as i said going to be a full video there is a very relevant car that's going to turn up and drive side by side with the pro as well until then i'm going to run the car in there is of course a running in period of a thousand miles to get the car nice and ready and then the full review is going to come until then if you've enjoyed this please do like subscribe and share this video there is a first look for the gtr pro on the channel as well we can learn more about this beast until then i'm going to go enjoy myself see you guys next time Mercedes Benz world, but this is how a car should launch. Yeah,